Kia ora, talofa and welcome. I'm Dr. Janine Bycroft from the Health Navigator team and in this short video I'm going to explain the difference between acute and chronic pain. Pain is something we've all experienced at different times and while no one likes being in pain it's actually an important protective mechanism to keep us safe and reduce further pain or injury. Pain can be acute, short-lived or chronic and ongoing. It's important to know which type you have because the treatment options are quite different. Acute pain is your body's way of warning you that something is wrong. It often comes on rapidly, lasts for a short time and then goes away. It's usually caused by something specific such as an injury, infection, surgery or an illness. This contrasts with chronic pain where the cause is often unknown or more complex. Pain can be described in many different ways for both acute and chronic pain, from sharp or stabbing to a tightness or burning sensation, an aching or throbbing. Chronic pain is pain that persists and you experience most days for three months or more. It can range from mild to severe, be constant or come and go. Living with chronic pain can be hard work, but many people with chronic pain do get better and most can lead normal lives. It is often described as pain that does not go away as expected after an injury or illness. Chronic pain is thought to occur when nerves become oversensitive and keep sending warning messages to the brain even when there's no injury or after the original injury causing the pain has healed. The brain thinks there is harm and reacts by feeling pain. In other words, the fire has been put out but the fire alarm is still going off. Treatment for acute pain will depend on a number of factors such as what is causing your pain, where it is located, how severe it is and your personal preferences. Treatment options typically include pain relief medicines such as paracetamol for mild to moderate pain, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen, naproxen or diclofenac which can help reduce inflammation and swelling. For acute injuries such as a sprain, you will find the RICE approach useful. R is for rest, I is for ice, C is for compression and E is for elevation. Bandages such as a crepe bandage or tube grip can be used to provide compression and support. A sling or pillow can be used for elevation. For chronic pain, treatment is more complex. Chronic pain is often described as a cycle, where persistent pain often leads to one doing less, which leads to loss of fitness, tiredness and less energy. This often leads to poor sleep, feelings of frustration, anxiety, low mood, stress or anger, which results in more increased pain. The increased pain then causes you to have more low mood, tiredness and stress, so you get caught in an endless cycle. The good news is there are several ways you can approach managing and treating chronic pain to start feeling better. Treatment of chronic pain needs a broad approach and takes into account your mental, physical and emotional needs and identifying each of the areas you can do something about. If you think you have ongoing or chronic pain, see your doctor or healthcare team to help work through what approach will be best for you. You can also see the next video in this series on tips for managing chronic pain. Thanks for watching. For other videos in this series and pain resources, do visit the Health Navigator website at www.hn.org.nz